Osaka and we've been dealing with the freezing cold weather in Hokkaido for the past week and Tyler's gone full Canadian. Look at I'm what so he's wearing. I'm so happy right now. This is like the best weather ever. <laughs> it's so warm. <laughs> it's like 19 <laughs> degrees and he's in shorts and a t-shirt. Didn't after even bring a jacket. From, after coming from like negative five degrees up in the north, I can't complain with this. I'll wear shorts any day. So we're off to Kyoto for our first time, our first day of photography. Um, when we were busting through Kyoto last night on the bullet train, there was tons of cherry blossoms. So today is kind of a mission to go shoot some cherry blossoms and try not to get like swarmed by the crowds of tourists. You know, to people coming to Japan for cherry blossom season, today is March 29th and the blossoms are falling. And we're just literally outside of our hostel in Osaka. You don't need to go to Kyoto to see the cherry blossoms, they're everywhere. We made it to Kyoto Station and I somehow lost both Tyler and Jody. I don't know where they went, but I don't need them. Oh, there they are. I need them. I was joking. We now are going to catch the bus. We're heading to a park called Maru Maruyama, Maruyama Park, where uh, there's apparently a ton of cherry blossoms. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not sure that I'm up for the crowds of Kyoto during cherry blossom season. It's packed here. There's like bus after bus just full of people. It's super crowded. Um, but we're gonna make the most of it. We're definitely gonna embrace it a little bit. There's lots of women in like really beautiful kimonos. And uh, yeah, it's, it's an experience, that's for sure. This video was gonna be about photographing the cherry blossoms, but I think it's so packed in here and there's so many interesting faces, lots of people in traditional outfits and uh, girls wearing their kimonos like this, that I think I'm gonna pull out the 70 to 200 and instead shoot some street photography stuff or uh, park photography stuff. We come into like the main part of the park where there's all these restaurants, but check this out. This is crazy. There's just cherry blossoms everywhere. It's just white and everybody's out kind of having picnics, getting some food, enjoying each other's company. And I thought it was going to be chaos. I thought it was going to be hectic. And instead it's just like really nice and peaceful and a really fun place to, to take pictures. Done lunch, I'm gonna talk quick about the three types of photos that you can make of cherry blossoms. There's probably more than that, but the three I'm gonna talk about. The first is just straight out of the camera, long lens, 70 to 200, and you kind of pick out some details, the shallow depth of field, F4, and uh, it's kind of the medium shot. This is the classic shot, and maybe the first type of shot you'll ever take if you're taking pictures of flowers. And uh, everybody you'll see here, most people you'll see here are either taking selfies of themselves with the flowers, or they're taking this sort of shot. So I'm gonna show you a couple of examples right now.
The second type of photography you might want to be doing not only with cherry blossoms, but really any kind of blossom or any kind of flower is macro. And I have these things called macro extension tubes, which will save you a lot of money because you won't need to buy the big expensive macro lens. Instead, you can just stick the macro extension tubes between the lens and the camera, and you can get really, really close to your subject, uh, giving you that uh, macro look. So I'm gonna show you a couple examples of that right now. And the third way to photograph the cherry blossoms here in Japan is to get kind of environmental portraits with people. You get lots of people dressed up in traditional outfits out getting photos of their own, and they make fantastic, fantastic subjects in your images, as long as you can incorporate the cherry blossoms as well. Otherwise, it's just another photo of somebody in a kimono, which everybody's got, right? I'm actually enjoying this way more than I expected. I think I was being maybe like, not, I don't know, cynical. I was being an old man, being like, oh, there's too many people early today, but this is actually fantastic. Lots of good people watching, lots of interesting spots. And to be honest, it's not that hard to get away from it all either, either here. I'm um, just an, up on the other side of the park and it's nice and quiet up here, except for me yelling to the camera, disturbing the peace. just found this really cool shrine and temple. I think that main one, the big one, is called Amidado. But there's this really nice red and white one that contrasts really well with a portrait here, especially with the cherry blossom. So I had Jody posing under this tree. Got a couple classic travel images there. And I think now we're actually gonna leave the park. We're gonna run out of the park. So our sunset spot today is a place called Toji Temple. And it's like an hour walk from the park we were just at. But we decided we wanted to walk so we could see a little bit more of Kyoto. And I am so glad we did because it's absolutely stunning down here. Yay! Check out, hey Yay! ladies! <laughs> For not only that reason, but because you have all these cherry blossoms on this road and I'm gonna get hit by a van, but it would be totally worth it because this scene is just incredible. One of the best parts about being the boss is that you don't have to risk yourself. I wanted a shot of like the cherry blossoms flowing down this river, like a close up detailed shot. But instead of risking myself and my own gear, I got Tyler to do it. So Tyler's like on his stomach in the dirt, like way down there with the camera getting some shots. Jody's gonna push him in probably and everybody's gonna laugh. Oh, I thought he went in. Anyways, Kyoto is incredible. I was a little bit worried that it was gonna be, uh, I don't know, maybe overrated. I was here when I was little and I thought it was the most incredible place I'd ever been, but I was worried with all the crowds. I, I don't know, I was just a little bit worried. Um, but instead, it's just unreal. Cherry blossoms everywhere, really cool streets. We're on this canal street right here and the river's unreal. The little canal has all the cherry blossoms just flowing down it. It's such a cool scene. So we made it to Toji Temple. Um, you might be able to see it way in the background there. And apparently they closed it right now for an hour. And they said there's some like special tour going on 
for an hour and they're opening it again at six, which actually might work in our favor because sunsets at like five after six and we didn't think we were gonna be getting in because we thought it closed at six so we'd be able to get a couple of shots. But this might work in our favor if they actually are letting people in for the evening time. So fingers crossed that that's actually what's happening. We've been sat here waiting for over an hour and we somehow managed to be at the front of a massive line. There's a really long line back that way and everybody's got tripods. So it's definitely a photography spot if everybody has tripods. And basically as soon as we get in, we're just gonna run to this location we just found using Trover. It's like this cool spot where there's these rocks in the foreground and then the big wooden temple in the background. Hopefully gonna get Jody to pose without making too many photographers mad. But we got a brush, we don't know where we're going and this is the fun of photography the light is um, interesting and I think it's gonna work so let's cruise as soon as they let us cruise So for good reason we were in the front of the line. Look at this gallery behind me. This is so much fun, but we're stuck right in the front. Stuck, we're right in the front, which is perfect. Camera set up there, blue hour light. All the cherry blossoms, all the cherry blossoms in this park right now are lit up and looking really, really pink. It's just phenomenal. What's going on? Hello. Hello. <laughs> They're not happy that I'm in the front. <laughs> So that was hilarious and awesome. Just packed with people trying to get a shot. And we just randomly happened to be there when we were to get there to be at the front of the line. Otherwise, I never would have got that shot. So I'm really stoked with how that all went down. I got one or two photos before the light died on us. And there's still a little bit of lingering light. So I'm gonna run to another location. Quick, Samina Sen, and try to find another spot to get a shot. But it's getting crowded in here. Amazing, amazing, amazing location. So I guess I forgot to mention the fourth and maybe most obvious way to photograph the cherry blossoms and that's like with um, beautiful temples and buildings. This spot was incredible and it was a great rush. It was a lot of fun. It was almost like a sport because we were at the front of the line, we had to run in and then we literally had maybe five minutes of light until it kind of died. Managed to get one shot down at the waterfront, managed to get a shot back this way with a longer lens. Would have loved to get a shot with the rocks, with like the, the footbridge across that I saw in Trover with Jody on it but it's just impossible with the crowds um, the way they are um, and now that is dark it is packed in here hundreds and hundreds of people here to check out the cherry blossoms all lit up and it is beautiful I get it photographing the cherry blossoms today was fun and tomorrow we're heading to a place called Nara where there's deer that apparently bow to you and I guess you'll see that tomorrow peace